Hi, today I'll be talking about working with numbers in Python programming. In our everyday life, we make use of numbers and um, the Python language provides us the um, opportunity or the avenue to make some mathematical operations and computations and to work with numbers in general. So today I'll be showing us how we can work with numbers using the Python language. So you have to open up your Python shell. Um, in my previous video, I showed us how to install the Python um, software. So this is the Python shell where you write your Python code. So if I'm to write um, maybe something like 5 plus 7, okay, sorry, if I'm to, okay, write 5 plus 7, if I put enter, you see 12 as the answer. So 5 plus 7 is 12. If I put 6 plus 8, you get 14. So you see with Python, you can do basic addition, basic mathematical addition. Um, you should understand that the way Python works is different from the way all other some other um, computer programs works. Um, it uses an interpreter. So once you write a line of code, it interprets that line, gives you the results. It waits for the next line of code. It executes that line. Wait. So you can see these three um, greater than symbol symbols here. These, these symbols are telling us that okay, it's waiting for. Um, a line of code to be executed. So that's how the Python language works. So um, you can also do subtraction. If I have 9 minus 2, you get 7. 9 minus 2 is 7. You can do division to um, 8 divided by 2, you get 4. 4.0. Um, you can also do multiplication. 3 multiply. We use the asterisk symbol um, sign for multiplication times 6. You get 18. So you see, with a um, Python language, you can do so many um, mathematical operations. You can do addition, division, subtraction, division, and multiplication. You can also um, do something amazing. Now look, look at this. If I have two, um, two multiply by okay, two plus four multiply by 5. So if I have 2 plus 4 multiplied by 5, if I execute that, I'm going to get 22. Now, you may be thinking that I was supposed to have 2 plus 4, which is 6. Then 6 multiplied by 5 should be 30. Why am I getting 22? You should understand that the um, Python language obeys the normal um, precedence, the hierarchy of um, computation. And um, you use the normal pendants. So, of course, you know we have the parentheses first, the exponents, the multiplication, the division, addition before subtraction. So it follows that hierarchy of um, operation. So you first of all have four multiplied by five first because multiplication comes before addition in the um, hierarchy of computation. So you do four multiplied by five first before you add two, and that's four multiplied by five is twenty before you add 2 and get 22. So you have to keep that in mind. Another way you can do this is to put, if you want it to just work this way, maybe your two, your normal 2 plus 4 multiplied by 5. If you want it to work the way um, I've written it, you just put the first computation in brackets, parentheses, and you do that. So you get your 30. So putting the first one in bracket because it, it works bracket first before any other um, computation. So this is something you need to understand. Um, there are some other mathematical operation. There's something we call the modulus operation. Aside addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, we have the modulus operation. So if you have, for example, 10, the um, modulo. Modulo is the percentage symbol. Symbol divided by 3, the modulo 3. Yeah, what it does is that the answer you get is the remainder. So 10 divided by 3 normally is 3 remainder 1. But when you use the modulo, instead of it to give you 3, remainder 1, it's going to just give you the remainder. So once I press enter, it gives, gives me 1. So 10 modulo 3 is 1. It always gives you the remainder whenever you do the um, computation. So um, you can still do some others. You can do raised to power, raised to the power. For example, if I want to do 5 raised to the power of 3, I can just simply do 5 multiply by 5. Oh, sorry. 5 multiply by 5, multiply by 5. And that gives me 125. But if I want to do it in another way, you can just do 5 
then double multiplication that so five raised to power of three this double asterisk or mo double multiplication as the case may be stands for um raised to the power so this five raised to power of three and when you press enter you get the same 125 so that's just all about working with numbers in python you should know also that there's something we call variables now i'll still do another video to explain fully what variables and data types are but for now just know that variables are like containers where you store um a content so you're just like a normal container your your food flags like a container you can put food you store food in the in the flags you can have other kinds of containers so a variable is just a container so for example if i want to call a variable a, 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 there are some rules in naming variable i will do that i'll do a separate video for that to explain but for now just know for example if i give this variable name to be maybe value and i say my value is equal to five and um, i decide to do value raised to power of three so it's if you give me 125 still same thing as saying five raised to power of three so value stores the content five in it so anytime i use the, the 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 variable value it picks five and uses it to do anything so you can store a number inside a variable for example you have x is equal to five and you have y is equal to six oh sorry go to eight i want to print um x plus y just have x plus y and it gives you 13 that's 8 plus 5 so instead of using 5 plus 8 you can just use those variable names and you can store the content there so that's just all about working with variables in um, numbers rather in python in my next video i'll be going a step ahead so thank you for watching this video you can subscribe to this channel like and share with your friends thank you